The pound for pound best fighter in the UFC is uh, heading back into the octagon very soon to try to tie Anderson Silva's record for longest title defense and easily the most underreported best fighter in the UFC. Uh, also has some hard hitting opinions when it came to the MMA hour recently. Uh, he had this to say about not only than the cash me outside girl, <laughs> Danielle Bergoli. Uh, here is the sound bite from the MMA hour. I guarantee you, if you have a girl catch me outside, the girl in Dr. Phil, don't know if you know, she's yes. very famous, 4.5 million followers on Instagram. I guarantee you, if you give her some gloves and put her in an octagon, she'd be the highest selling pay per view fighter in the world. Wait, but she'd probably do way more numbers than Ronda just right. because she brings drama and negativity to wherever she goes. Wherever she goes. And I gotta say, my Demetrius Giant Johnson bias aside, He's probably right. No doubt he's right. Eight million. She has. She actually has like eight million Instagram followers, and it's quadrupling by the minute. No, of course it is. And and there's a lot of like these takes of like, this is what's wrong in American media. They prop up these these viral sensations. We're focused on the wrong thing. Well, no, that's just we're just trying to adjust to how social media still can make people famous. Yeah. Uh, Kanye is probably going to drop a song soon. <laughs> about how he made her famous. Yeah, I, no, I get it. I, I think there's a difference between the damn Daniel guys yeah. and the Cash Me Outside. But it also turned out, by the way, that the damn Daniel guys were just a good, good two kids. No, I get it. Those, those, those they situations. could have been two complete dicks, and True. we didn't know. We had to find out. And Ellen DeGeneres, fortunately, showcased that but, for us. Uh, there's a reason that Cash Me Outside girls. They're also been, gone. Been on Ellen DeGeneres. What happened to damn Daniel? No, they've got a YouTube channel and shit. They, they do. How is it? Sure, pay more subscribers than us. <laughs> um, so the, the Catch Me Outside girl, the difference is I think people are looking at it because she didn't do anything to, to, to in, a, in, in our world, merit like this, this fame. Uh, fame. All she did was speak out obnoxiously and rudely and threaten people to go and take her outside. Right. Uh, and then she gathered all this fame from it. So yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to sit and lose sleep over that. But um, I think the point that Demetrius Johnson's trying to make is the point that we've been making as well. It's like, yeah, she would bring an essence of drama into the octagon, so she'd probably be preferred. She'd probably get a title shot. Probably oh, get a title immediately. shot ahead of, ahead of anyone in there. They and would take Amanda Nunez's belt and they'd be like, Rhonda, we got to fight for you. Yeah, we've got <laughs> uh, And I think that it's all in, it's, it's a point made by the guy who suffered most, I would say, from the lack of media Publicity, coverage because yeah. he's not the dramatic uh, fighter that's going to bring yeah, all this just, negativity. Like I, you could say that Conor McGregor brings negativity wherever he goes because he brings an essence of uh, sure. charisma and he brings those uh, insults. But I don't think it's negative. I think it's needed for the sport. So he does bring that uh, added drama to a fight that, of course, is going to fill more seats and, of course, going to get pay-per-view buys. Demetrius Johnson has never really looked at that to be part of his stance. He's yes. never used that as part of his mechanism to tear down his opponent when McGregor has. Few few notes on Demetrius Johnson, few notes on Cash Me Outside Girl, because I promise you this is the only Cash Me Outside Girl clip you'll ever see on the channel. Um, in terms of Demetrius Johnson, he was talking about the MMA hour, and he's talked about this a lot. He actually likes fighting on Fox more than he likes fighting on a pay-per-view, uh, like a UFC pay-per-view. And that makes sense for Demetrius Johnson, and his reason was he's a big family man if you follow him. He's also a big Twitch gamer. I just love that he's a giant nerd. And he will kick the living shit out. Like if you got into a street fight with Demetrius Johnson, you had no idea who he was. You'd see like this five foot five, hundred twenty five pound, hundred thirty five pound guy. Probably wearing a Call of Duty shirt. Right, like a Call of Duty polo. <laughs> like that's what he'd be Special wearing. Special edition polo. Like, since. like exactly. He'd be carrying like the Master Chief sword from Halo, and he would literally kill you, um, and you wouldn't even see it coming. But that's what's so amazing about him. So. Uh, he says on the MMA Hour, he's talking, and other times he said it too in interviews. <laughs> he um, uh, he goes, when I fight on Fox, my whole family, like, they know. They see the commercials for it on Fox because it's like, you know, basic cable. A lot of people get that. But he goes, when I fight on UFC pay-per-view cards, the whole family goes, like, you're being a bum. You're not even fighting. You don't even fight. No one knows who you are. <laughs> So he goes, when I fight on Fox, like I go to the gym and and uh, all my family that I work out with sometimes that are, I think he's talking about like actual family members too, like his like kids' friends. No, his fam. <laughs> his fam uh, says we get to see you soon. And then on the cash me out side girl note of it, yes, I think he's right about this. I think Demetrius Johnson does understand what makes a big draw. I think he understands where he is, which is pretty unique. He's, he's not pretending 
to promote himself more. He seems pretty content finding big money other ways. Mm. He's got a really successful Twitch channel, one of the most successful Twitch channels in gaming, and he's building up that platform. So he's actually done a really good job of having two very different audiences. Yeah. He has a UFC fan base, uh, he's got a gaming fan base, uh, and he very much just seems like a straight up family man. I mean, he, yeah. like every time he calls in for interviews or Skypes, so I'd love to have him on at any point, call out to Demetrius Johnson if he wants to join us at any point, we'd have him right there. He's always like, yeah, I have to go rake the leaves outside. My wife is making me <laughs> do chores around the would house he be today. A, would he be the guy, like the BBC uh, newscaster who just has the kids crashing in? Oh, interview? God, what an Imagine. interview. Best and then, sorry, uh, to, to wrap up my rambling, uh, the cashier outside girl, there's one person to blame, it's Dr. Phil. If you can't see what is very clearly the issue is, you have TV shows that take, uh, that exploit damaged families for ratings and money. That's what Dr. Phil does. Now he is a doctor, I think, and he possibly is helping- Like Ross Geller. Yeah, exactly, he's like, he's <laughs> a paleontologist. Uh, I think he's educated in that sense, but he's not doing it to help people. No. He's no, a celebrity no. who gets to exploit damaged people on television for high ratings. There's a reason why Jerry Springer, and Dr. Phil, and Maury, get 25 year runs in TV. So it's not Cash Me Outside girl's fault that she's got no, 8 million followers. I've never, I would know, that's what I said. It's not, it's not her that's, it's the problem. It's just, yeah, it's the Dr. Phil, I, uh, it's not her, it's the problem, it's Dr. Phil and it's a way that we, people are drawn to that. And especially the video that uh, we did on the main show. But did you was, talk about it on the main so, show? Yeah. There were so many young, like girls and boys like chasing after her, like she was a superstar. Chasing after her, wanting to like get a picture with her, they wanted and to I get, get it. Cash but it, yeah. if we're talking about what people aspire to kind of act like, right? One, I, I'm not, I'm not familiar with her upbringing, right? She may have had a very rough upbringing, and it's and it's just lashing out. So I'm not going to get into the details on that. But um, one thing that actually could be an interesting point is not a bad idea to get someone who has those frustrations, those anger issues, get them to try and channel it through a physical activity like MMA. To get him to try and take out her frustrations um, in the octagon, not against someone. But the problem, I'm not trying to say that it's trying the, to go and get her to the fight. Very, the very evident problem is that the octagon's not outside. It's not outside. Oh, it's a problem. It's inside. You could catch her inside. Doesn't sound as Doesn't good. Doesn't sound as cool. But I'm saying that I've always but, been a, I've always been a strong uh, uh, proponent for uh, using physical activity to get out your frustrations, for, especially for someone who's got anger issues or got frustration issues. Get out in the octagon. I, was, I went to boxing with so many kids back home in Scotland who came from rough upbringings and they mm. used boxing as a way to kind of get out that frustration. Some of them were badass. I did not step in the ring with them. I just did the ab stuff in the corner. <laughs> the ab stuff you just in the corner? You got to hit me with a medicine ball. Ab like, cruncher. You remember the videos of Muhammad Ali catching the medicine ball? Yep. <laughs> the body, the body, the body. Just unbelievable. All right, uh, do, do you agree with Demetrius Johnson in just one put gloves on Danielle Brigoli, I mean, she's 13 or 14 years old. Yeah, that's what I mean, so we need to clarify here, by the way. 14 she year is old. a very young, young uh, girl. And she's going, yeah, she's a very young girl. So in like, you know, four years, I'm not sure what the legal age to fight in the MMA is, but I would assume it's 18. I just think it's always important that every, like she's becoming, like the, let's obviously be honest here as well. This girl has been overly sexualized at this age already. Like she's been in that rap video uh, recently, like it's a problem. Which one? She was in a rap video with, I um, can't remember the singer. Running around cash or whatever. But that's what I'm saying, like this is part of the idea that you need to remember, this girl is 14 Very, years of age. I just want to point out how specific it is to name a rapper who throws out cash. It's the only video like, was she was throwing out cash. There's only like two. She was cashing outside. Outside, that's good though, it's good writing. Comment below, <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe. I think he wrote that song for her. Uh, I promise you, it's the only Cash Me Outside video unless she steps into the octagon, then I have no choice. That it's my job. Mm -hmm.